While comedian Seth Rogen may have come from pretty humble beginnings, his success in the industry has allowed him to live lavish these days. For instance, his current spread in the Hollywood Hills has features like a guest house, a swimming pool and spa, and even a 100 foot waterfall located at the back of his property. So let's take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Seth Rogen is a Canadian comedian, screenwriter, actor, and producer who basically took over Hollywood in the late 2000s on an all time epic run of comedy classics like the 40 year old virgin, knock up, and super bad, just to name a few. Seth's ability to blend an improvisational approach to his work has his comedy feeling as organic as his favorite strain of weed. Growing up, Seth's father and mother were both rather radical in terms of their approach to politics, but they supported their son's passion for comedy from the get go. After performing in bar mitzvahs and parties as a teenager, Seth would eventually upgrade to performing at Vancouver. His Yuck Yucks Comedy Club. Unfortunately, soon after, his parents would both lose their jobs. At the age of only 16, Seth's family sold their home and moved into a small apartment. Thankfully, a miracle was just around the corner. That same year, Seth would book a gig in Judd Apatow's television series, Freaks and Geeks. Upon doing so, Seth and his family moved south to LA, and Seth has been paying the bills for his entire household ever since. After moving from Vancouver to Los Angeles, Seth bought his first house in 2006, a $1.65 million home in West Hollywood, California. In fact, that would remain his primary home for a number of years until 2014 when he and his wife Lauren spent $8 million on a compound in Hollywood Hills, one that they would add to extensively over the years. As I mentioned, ever since Seth arrived in LA, he's been looking after his family and that's something he continues to do to this day. As recently as 2020, Seth bought a gorgeous bungalow not far from his Hollywood Hills compound for a member of his extended family. Just goes to show you that even though Seth is one of Hollywood's biggest stars, that doesn't mean he's forgotten about where he came from. To prove that point even further, Whenever Seth returns to Vancouver, there are a few haunts he loves to revisit. So I'll give you a taste of some of his favorite hometown spots as well. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment today, checking out where Seth Rogen calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Built nearly a century ago, Seth's first LA home was located in West Hollywood. First erected in 1923, this charming residence was purchased in 2006 for $1.65 million. This 2,853 square foot Spanish style retreat is shrouded in epic landscaping and tucked behind some terrifically large gates. Out front, there's also a courtyard that's described as a magical zen-like retreat. Meanwhile, out back, you'll find a massive lush space full of ponds, well-lit dining areas, a koi pond, and a rustic fireplace. Moving on to the interior, glossy dark hardwood floors, arched hallways and ceilings, as well as plenty of windows can be found throughout. The open concept living and dining room area also includes not only a classic looking fireplace, but some stylish French doors that lead out to the exterior and some very flamboyant spiral columns. Elsewhere on the first level is a totally updated kitchen that utilizes some stylish brick backsplash. Nearby, two of the four bedrooms on the house are located on the first floor. That's because the entire second floor is dedicated to the master suite. Not only does it have a gigantic walk-in closet and vaulted ceilings, but it's also got an enormous ensuite with a truly huge soaking tub. After living in this home for close to a decade, Seth and his wife would pick up a new home and transfer their life from this one to their new one. They still held on to this place for a handful of years, but eventually Seth finally put it on the market in 2020. He ultimately sold the home in October of that year for about $2.16 million, which was about 35 k more than he was asking for. Having officially established himself as Hollywood's newest comedy goldmine, Seth upgraded his living conditions in 2014. 
2017. That's when he and his wife Lauren paid nearly $8 million for a mini estate deep in the Nichols Canyon area of Hollywood Hills. But here's the thing about this property. Since it's Seth's primary residence, he keeps the details of the place to himself. Compounding that is the fact that the property was never on the market to begin with, which means public photos are non-existent and the details are slim. But here's what we do know about Seth's own paradise. For starters, it's tucked into a gated estate that encompasses three parcels of land for a total of 7.15 acres, most of which is set into a heavily treed canyon situated below a modestly scaled Spanish-style house that's actually owned by Robert Pattinson. Moving on, the property is set at the far end of a cul-de-sac and prior to Seth moving in, it was being rented out on a monthly basis for around 12 k per month. Featuring 3 bedrooms and 3 baths, the main house was first built in 1955 and it has more than 3,493 square feet of living space with flagstone flooring and what's promised to be a gourmet kitchen. Hey, I've seen Seth cook, I'm sure that was a necessity. Furthermore, the property is also said to include a separate guest house, a swimming pool and spa combo set into a terrace below the main house, as well as a lighted tennis court. But as cool as all of that sounds, the most unique feature in Seth's home is undoubtedly the two bubbling streams and 100 foot waterfall that he has located on the back end of his massive property. Or maybe, just maybe, it's this very on point workspace that Seth's decked out in dozens of candles and some trippy 70s inspired furniture. I wonder what he does in here. He's also got himself a pretty trendy dome-like structure, which I'm pretty sure he probably uses to chill out when he gets tired of his other spots. Either that or this is the meditative room in the household. Now shortly before listing his first home from West Hollywood in 2020, Seth purchased the neighboring one acre lot to this place for a reported $3 million. Based on the review of the records, Seth's been undergoing a giant rebuild and expansion on this property ever since. Today, his home spans six contiguous lots that combine to comprise a total of eight acres. It's basically Seth's nature-soaked Hollywood getaway with its collection of eucalyptus, pine, and sycamore trees. At this point, construction is still undergoing in Casa de Rogan, so it'll probably be a little while yet before we get a better sense of what it's like in its completed state. In 2020, Seth also shelled out nearly $2 million for this designer renovated 1920s Spanish Revival cottage that's located just beyond West Hollywood city boundaries. In other words, more or less in shouting distance of his own giant estate. The front yard features a concrete pathway that intersects two parts of grass and leads up to a terracotta porch. The cream colored facade features a classic red tile roof with olive green trim around the edges. Meanwhile, on the inside are black hardwood wood floors, which contrasts beautifully with those pure white walls. The living room also boasts a fireplace with wood trim. And all of the Rogans must love to dine in style because this dining room is a statement piece. Not only is there a slim wood table under a modern chandelier, but those chairs are just about as funky as they come. Of course, there's no point in having a gorgeous dining room without a spectacular kitchen to go along with it, and this one boasts a two-tier work island as well as white raised panel cabinets, black granite counter and all your necessary stainless steel appliances. In terms of bedrooms, this home features three main floor rooms and one master suite in its nearly 2,000 square feet of space. Speaking of the master suite, it's outfitted with a sumptuous bath as well as French doors that lead to the tranquil backyard. Out in the rear exterior is a built-in barbecue for alfresco dining. There's also a detached garage in the rear of the property and a newly added plunge pool with custom tiling and a raised spa. Not bad for that lucky Rogan family member. Finally, since Seth is so synonymous with Canadian comedy, I thought I'd give you guys a taste of his favorite spots in Vancouver that he loves to frequent whenever he's home. During the Netflix special Breakfast, Lunch and Dinner with David Chang, Seth takes him around to check out his former favorite places to chow down. Like for instance, this donut spot on Granville Island called Lee. Like for instance, this donut spot on Granville Island called Lee's Donuts. When they were done enjoying some of Canada's finest baked goods, Seth took David to Queen Elizabeth Park, which offers some of the best views in the city. Afterwards, they got baked in a different kind of way. Alright guys, that's going to bring our Seth Rogen house tour to an end. Be sure to let me know what you thought about this funny man's properties down below. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Kara, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!